In this video, you're going to learn how to create simple arithmetic operations exercise in Visual Basic. To demonstrate to you the step-by-step -step on how to create this exercise, we have our regular lecturer, Miss Uni. Miss Uni, are you ready? Let's get started. Thank you, Ms. Randoy. For today's video, I will show you how to create a simple application that will calculate the two numbers. First, let's open our Visual Studio 2022. Then click Create a New Project. Make sure that the Visual Basic is selected. Then choose the Windows Forms app. Click Next. Let's update the project name, Laboratory Exercise 1 underscore your last name underscore your first name. Then click Next. Click Create. Now you can see my form. It is already designed. I put some text boxes, some labels, and some buttons. To do this, let's click our toolbox here. Okay, you can see the toolbox at the left side of your window. So let's click this one and you can just click this icon to pin. There you go. To add some buttons, you just have to double click. Okay, you can see that the default design of your button is like this one. So you can just edit this one by updating or modifying the properties window the text of button one can be modified by editing the text properties let's type add okay and then we can edit the font. It's font style and it's font size and of course the font. Okay. You can just drag the corner or the small boxes here so for resizing and the color of your font can be modified by the four color property so let's click this one and then drop down so there are three categories of the four colors you can choose the custom or the web or the system so let's just have the web and choose your preferred color let's have a dark one okay next is text box so it is already ordered alphabetically. Here, just double click. And you can also resize it. Okay. And edit the size. 18. Okay. And for the label, this one, it will serve your text. Okay. For my example, the calculation of two numbers has no background color. You can make it by modifying its 
back color. Let's make it transparent under the web category. Okay, it is not visible because of the color for the four color. So let's make it a light one. There. And modify its font by making it bold and increasing the size. There. For the text, you can modify it. Also, for the text property, let's type sample text. Okay. So, that's the process of designing a Windows Forms app. So, I will just delete it. So make sure that you are selecting the proper controls. So, delete. Delete and delete. For your laboratory exercise one, I would require you to have a three text boxes, a three label, okay, and a six buttons. For the add button, make sure you updated. The name property under the design. So, update it to button add. So the shortcut for button is BTN. And for text box, the name should be text first number for the first text box. Text box must have a name starting with txt and for the label the name must have lbl so we have lbl calculation for the symbol let's make it lbl symbol and for the equal sign let's make it lbl equal text first number text second number and the text result. We have button add, button multiply, button subtract, button divide, button clear, and button exit. If we click the button add, it must add the two numbers here and display the result. And of course, the question mark must be updated with a plus symbol. For the subtract, it must be a minus sign. Multiply, you can use asterisk or just an X letter. And divide, you can use slash or the division symbol okay for the clear button it must clear all the fields inside our text boxes and exit it must close the windows forms to do this let's double click the button we created After clicking the button add, we will arrive to this code, the button add underscore click. Inside this code, we should check if the text boxes are empty or not before calculating the two numbers. We have to add the if condition if text first number dot text equals string dot empty or Text second number that text equals string that empty. We use the or condition 
so that either of the two becomes true, it will arrive to the message box. So what is a message box? It is an alert for us to tell the user that there must be an action be done before proceeding to the next step. Our message box must have a message which is enclosed with a double quote. For this example, I put a message of complete the necessary fields before calculating, comma, followed by the button that the user could click after seeing the alert. I use the BB OK only. Plus, VB critical, it must show what icon that the user must see in our message box, comma, and then the title of our message box, the warning. The message box must be enclosed with parentheses. Next, if we have if, we must have an else part. If the text first number the text and text second number the text are not empty, we will now replace the value of our label symbol. So let's assign the plus symbol by having a code of label symbol the text equals double code. Make sure that when you are assigning a string or a value to our text. It is enclosed with a double quote. Next, in assigning a variable, we always start with a dim. Dim result equals the cint will convert our text first number that text value to an integer. Plus, cint text second number that text. So this part, it will add the values of our two text boxes, assigning to our created variable, which is result. We must convert the result to string before assigning it to the text of our text result. Then, followed with and if. So that's it. That's the button add will work. Next, I will show you how the button clear will work. It is just simple like you're just assigning an empty string to a text box. Just put text first number that text equals string that empty. Same with our text second number that text equals string that empty. For the button exit, underscore click, we must have a response variable wherein we will assign a result whether the user will answer yes or no. To do this, let's have a response variable, dim response as variant type, then assign a message box to our response variable, response equals message box. Are you sure you want to exit with a question mark? Comma, VB, yes, no. Plus, VB, question. Comma, exit. If the response equals VB, yes, then end. It will now exit our form. If the user answered no, it will not close the form. Now, let's check if our code is working properly. Just click this arrow symbol. Okay. And type. A number for our text, first number, 3. Then 7 for the text, second number. And click Add. Okay. As you can see, the question mark symbol has been updated with a plus sign. And the result of 3 
plus 7 is equal to 10. Let's clear. The result has not been deleted because I did not include the text result that text equals string that empty. So let's add it. To close the form, let's click the exit and the message box will prompt. So let's choose the yes. Okay. Let's add the text result. That text equals string that empty. Run it again. Let's put 5 and 4. Click add. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Then clear. Okay. The text result has been deleted also. And click exit. Choose no. It has not been closed. Click exit again and choose yes. For your lab exercise 1, I want you to complete the code for button multiply, button subtract, and button divide. That's all and thank you! So we are done! If you are new to this channel, you can support me by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want more videos like this, you can click the like button and notification bell button so you will get updated on my next tutorial video. Thank you for watching!